my beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today you saw the title we are doing an Ulta haul I recently had a 20% off entire purchase coupon and that's the time when I really hit Ulta's website really hard I stock up on a bunch of my staples and I also kind of use that as an excuse to grab a couple really fun things that I've had my eye on but maybe we're just a little bit more pricey and I also always hit up the new section to see if there are any cool new products that I really want to get my hands on. I've got a bunch of all of those things today. <laughs> this box literally just arrived on my doorstep. So let's get to the goodies. Let's just quickly run through some of the staple items that I can't really swatch. The first thing that I picked up is this sponge from L'Oreal. This is the Blend Artist Infallible Foundation Blender. I originally ordered one of these sometime last year based on a subscriber recommendation and I loved it. These were buy one get one half off plus I could apply my 20% off coupon so I felt like it was a really good time to stock up on sponges. I do run through my sponges pretty quickly because I wash them so frequently that I really do need to replace them. I like to keep several on hand just so that I always have a clean one so now I have these two, I can get rid of some of my old ones and put some fresh sponges into rotation. I also stocked up on some makeup wipes. I really like these Ulta brand ones because you can get the two packs and they're not very expensive. These were also on a deal. I think these were buy one, get one half off. Plus with the coupon, I got a great deal on these. This is just like a little detail. Some people probably don't care about this, but I like this little door packaging so that it keeps my wipes sealed and keeps them from drying out too much. So I got a bunch of wipes. Somebody had recommended that I use baby wipes instead because they're cheaper. So I actually tried that. I used these Huggies Natural Care. They're supposed to be like good for sensitive skin. I mean, they're for babies' butts. Honestly, they did not work that well for me. The wipes fell apart really easily. I don't know if you can tell right here where my skin's all red, but I was doing some swatching yesterday and after wiping off with these wipes, I got really irritated, rashy, bumpy skin. And I don't have sensitive skin. I've never had that issue before with makeup wipes, but using the baby wipes did not really work well for me. So I tried it. If it works well for other people, then that's awesome. These are more cost effective, but they just didn't work for me. So I bought, I went back to my makeup wipes. I also picked up some exfoliating cotton rounds. I use these mainly for my toner and for removing my nail polish. I am constantly changing my nail polish, so I go through these babies pretty quickly. Another staple item is mascara. I got some more of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara. I have just been loving this stuff and going through it so quickly, recommending it to everyone who asks about mascara, so had to get some more. This is a good staple item to stock up on. Maybe not the most exciting thing in the world, but we all know we go through this quickly. This is your reminder that if you've been using your mascara for more than three months to throw it away and go buy a new one. This is sort of a staple restock, but also a new product to me. I just ran out of dry shampoo and I have heard so many people talk about these Batiste dry shampoos. So I really wanted to try one out. Of course, this one is the tropical scent. As soon as I saw the word coconut, I just went straight for this scent. So if you're somebody that has used these Batiste dry shampoos, Definitely let me know what your favorite scents are. There are so many different scents that this comes in and I really wasn't sure what to do. I just saw coconut and went for this one. But if you have a favorite one, please leave a comment. Let me know what it is because if I like this, I will definitely be sticking with this one. It's really, really affordable. Along with my coconut obsession, I also have a lip balm obsession. <laughs> and there were a bunch of new chapstick brand items in the new section. So I didn't realize that I ordered so many, but I have four here. These two are vitamin enriched lip oils. Love a lip oil. I got the peach tea and sweet nectar flavors. That just sounds so summery and delicious. I also got these two that are the tinted version. So these are the vitamin enriched 
tinted lip oils. I got the shades Nearly Nude and Blushed Bronze. Let's see what these look like. Oh wow, okay, that's tiny. It's cute though. Fit nicely in a bag. Okay, Nearly Nude looks pink. So here they are up close. This one is Nearly Nude, definitely looks pink to me. This is Blushed Bronze. Looks like a beautiful, toasty, warm, medium nude, my favorite. Let's try that one on, see how it looks. I have a little NARS lip gloss on, but it's mostly worn off. Ooh, oh my gosh. Mmm, it smells delicious, it smells fruity. Super beautiful. Mmm, feels amazing. That's pretty, okay. It feels great, it smells really, really good. This little like slim tube, at first I was a little disappointed, like I felt like I didn't really get a lot, but I like it, I like the applicator, so. So far, so good. Here's some swatches for you. This one's nearly nude, definitely looks pink. And that's blushed bronze. I also found some nail polishes when I was perusing the new at Ulta section. So I did pick up four new Essie polishes. This really pretty like iridescent magenta color is called Get a Psychic out of it. Pretty sure this is an Ulta exclusive, but it looks super, super pretty. These three are from a geology themed collection they have. They really looked more different online than they look in person. All very sparkly, have some holographic glitter in there. They look really pretty, they just don't look super different from each other, but I'm sure I will still like all of them. This pink rose gold one is called Gorgeous Geodes. This deeper bronze is You're a Gem. This more champagne type of color is called of quartz. That's cute. I see what you did there, Essie. See. see what you did. Purely out of curiosity, I ordered this Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist from L'Oreal. I got the mini size just in case I hate it. <laughs> Let's see how the sprayer is before I spray this on my face. Oh, it really smells like hairspray. Oof. Well, I'll be testing this out. We'll see. I doubt it will be replacing my ABH Dewey set, but we'll see. It smells very strongly of hairspray though, so beware. Another skin item I got is from Tony Moly. It's this Cat's Perfect Night Mask. It says soothing and moisturizing. I really, really like Tony Moly skincare products, particularly their masks. Look how cute this is. I mean, come on now. So obviously I can't test this right now, but let's just smell it. It smells very fresh, a little like florally citrusy, but very lightly scented. It looks like an interesting texture, whipped, creamy, jiggly kind of texture. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm excited to try this. I always like their skincare products. Not only are they really cute, but I find that they have some great moisturizing masks and I have dry skin, so. I'm always here for a moisturizing mask. One more skincare item and then the rest is really fun, pretty makeup that we're gonna swatch and play with and probably just put on top of the makeup that I'm already wearing. I picked up some under eye patch masks. I've really enjoyed doing these, especially in the morning when I'm really tired. It's just a good way to start the day off on the right foot. I've been having some trouble getting to sleep at night, so I've been staying up really late, and when I wake up, I feel like my eyes just look like puffy and kind of sad, and when I look tired, it makes me feel more tired. So coffee and eye masks are the way I'm gonna go. These had really good reviews. These are the Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. Never used these before. I am a fan of the Wander Beauty ones, the Baggage Claim. I like those a lot, but those are pretty expensive and they're always out of stock. So I thought, you know, I'll switch it up a little bit and try these out. If you've ever tried these, let me know what you think. And if you have an eye mask that you really like, then leave it in the comments. I always love your suggestions. I try a lot of the suggestions I get from you guys, so I always appreciate them. Eye masks, I need it. Add it to the list. Anyway, these are some brand new blushes from NYX. I don't even know what to make of these. These are the Sweet Cheeks Creamy Powder Blushes. 
The creamy powder part really got me. So there's a matte version and then a glowy version. This is the matte one I picked up. This is way more bright than I usually go for. It does feel very soft. I don't know if I would say creamy, but it does feel soft. I was expecting something more bouncy like the Super Shock products, but it feels soft. Oh, it also looks a lot lighter on my finger than it does in the pan. This is the shade Rose and Play. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that is bubblegum pink. That's not gonna be for me. Just a bad choice on my part. There wasn't a ton of shades to choose from, so hopefully they're just slowly introducing this line and hopefully they'll be adding some more colors soon. That literally looks like an eyeshadow. I mean, if you have a deep skin tone, then this will be a blush, but that's an eyeshadow for me. Maybe if I mix these two together, let's try that. That's what they look like mixed together. That's super beautiful. That's way more my style. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So you might need two shades to mix if you decide to try this product. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so mixed together, I actually honestly really like them. This is Rose and Play, this is Bang Bang, and this is what they look like mixed together. I mean, we need some more shades, but what's new? When do we not need more shades? Am I right? I have been wanting to try this brand for so long. This is Kiko Milano. These look like the most beautiful products ever. Oh, it's gigantic. I mean, look at the outer packaging. Like, stunning. Oh, oh it's wrapped in this like fancy paper. Okay, fancy. So the outer packaging is very luxurious. I'm getting La Mer, Lancome, Charlotte Tilbury vibes from it. This is the bronzer. I got the shade 01 Warm Honey. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. It's very pigmented. A little more orangey toned than I usually go, but that's okay. We're working with it. It's very pigmented. I'm impressed. Oh, it's pretty. That's nice. I like it. I mean, it's gigantic. It's like the size of my head. Okay, so that is the Ocean Feel Bronzer. I also got the Ocean Feel Highlighter. I got the shade 01 Golden Vibe. I feel like these were medium expensive. They weren't super cheap drugstore price, but this wasn't like $50 or anything like that, so. Oh, gorgeous. Hold on, let me give you a close up. Look how pretty that is. That is stunning. Mmm, oh, beautiful. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's gonna work for me, mm-hmm. It has a light vanilla scent. It's not very strong at all. Wow, that is beautiful. The very last thing, I only got one eyeshadow palette. Feeling pretty good about myself for that. I picked up this Neon Lights palette from Lorac. Why is nobody ever talking about Lorac palettes? They're so good and people have been saying for years now, Lorac's too neutral, it's boring. Then they come out with this amazing neon palette and still nobody's talking about it. Can Lorac get a break here? I don't know if you can tell, but the little plastic protector cover inside has rainbow neon. Okay, this is gorgeous. This is technically a pressed pigment palette. Look at that, so pretty. The classic layout with the mattes on top and the shimmers below. This looks beautiful, please be good. I'm just gonna do some quick finger swatches for you guys. Here are the swatches of the Neon Lights palette from Lorac. I think this is really, really beautiful. I'm very impressed. Mattes and shimmers are pretty nice. The only one I struggled with was the blue matte. And this, I think it's just supposed to be more of a topper. Not really my favorite kind of thing, but overall super pretty. 
just based on those initial swatches, this seems to be a pretty impressive palette. I would love to do a video and do some looks with these shades. You know I'm crazy about Lorac. I always say they are totally underrated. This seems like a cool little palette, so let me know if you're interested in this. I know it's been out for a while, so maybe everybody's over it and I can just play with it by myself, but if you want to see a video, I would definitely like to do some really bright looks with this. So leave a comment if you're interested in that. That's everything I picked up in my haul. I feel like that was a lot. This box was really heavy. I think I got some great deals, stocked up on some of my just go-to staples that I always run out of. And I think I found some really great new gems too. That highlighter in particular, I'm really excited for that. Let me know if there's anything in here you wanna see more videos about. What have you purchased lately? What do you recommend I pick up with my next coupon? I always love to hear what you guys think, what you're buying, what you're recommending. So leave a comment, let's talk about it down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Jeez, what did I order? <sighs> okay, I need to caffeinate. Hold on, give me a moment. Well, not really. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. I like this mascara. <laughs> what was that? It's a, it, <laughs> I don't know. There's a scary warning on here. It says solvent abuse can kill instantly. I know you're probably really surprised that I like a low maintenance hair care routine. <laughs> I know that you're shocked by that. Wow, I really went ham on the chapstick. Love that for me. Why do all these shades look the same? <laughs> Dang it. Yikes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, flash, flashology, <laughs> that's not what it's called. Oh, okay, love it, love it, love it. Stunning! What, what is this, NARS? Why can't I open this? Don't you know I just painted my nails and I'm not trying to mess them up? I mean, honestly, why? Oh, okay, that was way harder than it needed to be. <gasps> oh, what in the world? Where is everybody on this palette? Why? What is happening? This is beautiful. Are the other ones gonna be bad? Ugh. Okay, quickly becoming addicted to this tinted lip oil. We all saw that coming. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I think this and the highlighter are my favorite things that I got. <laughs> I'm a simple woman, okay? I have simple tastes. See, I use that baby wipe and it is making me all red and bumpy again. Dang it, Huggies. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I think that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. You're my favorite.